Hello future data scientists and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to review the Python programmer track from Datacamp. So you want to become a Python programmer, you want to become a Python developer, you want to learn Python to learn data science or become a data scientist or data analyst, this is the perfect video and track for you. In this video I'm going to basically answer you if this track is suitable for you if you want to become a python expert in the field of data sci science or data analyst or not so let's start this video Okay, so since we're going to learn Python, and let's say we're going to learn Python in order to become a data scientist or data analyst, there are certain things should be covered in this track. First of all, the basics of Python should be covered in details, which I mean, by, by, by details I mean that uh, data types, uh, if and loops, uh, this type of things, and object-oriented programming and data structure, and then since I'm going to be learning Python for um, data science and data analysis, so these packages should be covered. Pandas to manipulate them some data, SciPy and NumPy they are used for uh, mathematical equations, Matplotlib and Seaborn, and there is another one called Bouquet. These are for data visualization, and we have Scikit-Learn for machine learning, and we have Scrappy to let's say. Uh, I think I'm, uh, it's for scrapping the data. These are the important Python libraries that should be covered in this track. So we have introduction to Python, intermediate to Python, and advanced Python, and object-oriented programming in Python. And these are these libraries should be covered. For example, data visualization in Python, um, introduction to NumPy, introduction to Matplotlib. Um, how to manipulate some data in pandas uh, these type of uh, courses should be covered and how to scrap some data using python from twitter let's say or websites um yeah i think these are the things that should be covered in python track now let's go to the website and see by ourselves if these things or these skills are covered or not let's go all right so right now we are at the python programmer career track from on datacamp website you can just go to the datacamp website and click on career tracks and you can just go and find it here for python programmer so basically this track is going to make me a python programmer it's not going to make me python expert programmer it's just gonna teach me the fundamentals of python programming just like we discussed earlier in this video in the slides that in order for me to become a python programmer the first thing i should know is the fundamentals of python which is python 101 where they teach us uh, you know the basic stuff if loops variables uh, type of ty uh, data types and functions this type of things and then the part two in my opinion is going to be object oriented programming and part three is going to be data structure and then since datacamp is a data science oriented uh, oriented platform so there should be some courses that's going to teach me uh, basic data ana analysis or data scientist in python so basically going to be like introduction to data science in python uh, how to use packages which are used in python sorry which are used in data science like numpy pytest and uh, seaborn bouquet pandas you know and then it's gonna teach me a little bit about uh, web scrapping and some uh, writing functions and software engineering and, and details maybe uh, using python and what else maybe machine learning in python deep learning in python nlp you know a little bit of uh, artificial intelligence in python and and using database in Python, statistics in Python, you know, this type of things. Uh, but the main thing for me, in order for you to become a Python programmer, is going to be uh, introduction to Python, and intermediate to Python, and advanced to Python. Advanced to Python probably is going to be data structure, uh, and uh, uh, 
uh, intermediate is going to be like um, object oriented inheritance polymorphism this type of stuff so let's just go and see the track by ourselves we have 62 hours and 16 courses the first course that we have here is going to be introduction to data science in python and then we have data types for data science in python now i would recommend that if you are a complete beginner before you start these courses you have to take two courses one is called introduction to python okay where they teach you uh, the fundamentals uh, let me show you which is python basics and python list and which are what are what, are, what are the functions and, and and packages and numpy that's it and yeah that's it and then you can go to the intermediate python which is a sql course and here they're going to teach you some uh, packages and um, data visualization matplotlib and dictionaries and pandas pandas is a uh, data manipulation uh, package in python and logical control flow if and loops and this type of stuff so after you take these two courses then you go and take this course and then you take this course and then you take data manipulation python data science toolbox part one and part two writing efficient python code and the part two and part uh, part one and part two this tool toolbox uh, they're going to teach you some um, stuff in uh, which are used in python and data science like how do you write your own functions you know these type of things lambda function error handling i, I call i call this one like a little bit advanced uh, course for python programmer okay and then we have writing efficient python code how to write an efficient python code working with time series data regular expression in python web scrapping is a little bit advanced how do you get the data from the websites writing function in python and you now this i like the introduction to shell and conda how to deal with ana anaconda which is uh, an ide you have parallel programming which is an uh, with dask dask is a language and software engineering for data scientists in python this is uh, like a core uh, software engineering course and you have unit testing for data science this also uh, these 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 courses software engineering for data science data scientists in python and unit testing for data science in python these are like a core courses for software engineer which is uh, uh, which is perfect for uh, Python programmers. And this is the object-oriented programming. This is what I uh, I said about uh, Python uh, two, which is uh, object-oriented. And we have uh, there is no data structure here, unfortunately. So I call this one. Uh, I mean, to be honest, uh, it's it's fine. But if you take a course from Udemy, I'll make sure to uh, put some. Uh, n nice python courses on udemy which are which are more comprehensive than tata camp and the link in the description below but this one is also nice uh if one enroll to data camp uh, please use the link in the description below uh, there's a big chance you will get a uh, discount and make sure to enroll to the annual uh, subscription it's uh, cheaper i mean in long term it's cheaper and these type of tracks takes time and after you finish this this track you can go to the project section and let's say you say i wanna uh, only python courses and i want to data visualization so these are the python courses which uh, uh, focus on data visualization and data manipulation so, and you can, so you can just click on it and and and, and see how it's going to look like just click on continue and you'll see a big Jupyter notebook on your right side and some instructions on the le left side just do whatever they're saying and then click on at the end check project here and you can you'll be able to download this notebook file download as notebook and upload it to your github profile so they can know that yes you do have projects it's not just a bunch of courses you took on data camp and and that's it so yeah that's it i i i took some courses here i really like it especially for the beginners but as i said uh it's not that much comprehensive but for data cam it's fine for data scientists it's, it's more than enough if you want to become but if you want to become a, a python developer developer then i would recommend uh, one of these courses that you will find in the description below thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe and share this video if you find it useful and use the link in the description below to enroll to data camp and i will see you in the next video bye bye